for a long time, maternal child health's really been focused on ending preventable maternal and child deaths. And there is still a, a large amount of work to do in that arena, but there have been some great successes, particularly over the last 15 years. And so settings who have been successful are really now shifting their thinking towards optimizing pregnancy health. We know that the health of the mum during pregnancy has this very long-term effect on the child's later health. And so a lot of the focus of maternal child health is now shifting to how we best prepare the child for the greatest start in life. Women who go into pregnancy either overweight or obese have a number of potential risks during pregnancy for themselves and then for the child. For the child particularly, the, the major risks are just risk of miscarriage very early in pregnancy, stillbirth, some birth defects. The thing that I'm particularly interested in is the excess risk of high birth weight being born very heavy, which comes with risk to the mum of having to have a cesarean delivery, but also the child then has a later risk of obesity and other metabolic complications later on in life. American Samoa has undergone really rapid modernization and urbanization over the last 30 or 40 years and what that means is it's been a huge shift from very active lifestyles in a village where food is, is grown and prepared in the household to a culture where people are working in, in very sedentary jobs and they're consuming more junk food and that's, that's I think a huge contributor to obesity in that setting see less than 10% of adult women are able to maintain a normal weight and what that means is that very many women are going into pregnancy overweight and obese. What we've been trying to do in American Samoa is really characterize the risks associated with maternal pregnancy obesity in that population for the mom and the child in order to better target interventions. Strengths that the American Samoan community themselves have identified is the fact that they're very social, there's a lot of family support, a lot of social support, and what that lends itself to is a really nice group intervention. So one of the things that we're planning to pilot very soon is a group prenatal care intervention in which we would try and integrate messages about both mother and child health, child overweight and obesity into, into standard prenatal care sessions. And the kind of topics that we'll cover are, are really a lot of experiential learning where women get to try different things like cooking healthier meals, thinking about their current diet and how they might adapt it to, to kind of make lower calorie, lower portion sizes, thinking about healthy activities that can be done during pregnancy and really, really talking about there are some cultural taboos about exercise during pregnancy, talking about how we might overcome those and um, thinking about breastfeeding, preparing women to breastfeed.